Tracker alert. A local restaurant employee targeted while she was working a double shift. Caught on camera and now Greenwood police are looking for two thieves who could now face tougher penalties thanks to a new state law. Fox 59 Zach Myers takes us to the scene to explain the new punishments. Well, the victim of this crime says she doesn't have hundreds of dollars for car repair and tow, and authorities say the two guys who stole from her may not even realize they've committed a felony. Jessica Reinhardt knew something was wrong Sunday when she finished work at Campbell's Highland Grill and went out back to her car. I got in my car and I started it, and it I said it sounded like a motorcycle because that's what it sounded like. The problem? In the middle of the afternoon, these two guys cut the catalytic converter and O2 sensor off Jessica's car. It only took a few minutes. Like many restaurant employees, Jessica has been working double shifts to get back on track after a year and a half of pandemic losses. Now she has a new burden. Might not have had any money, so that's why they took something from me, but I don't necessarily have it either. I work really hard for the things I have, so it's frustrating. It's, it's shocking and kind of scary at the same time. Um, you kind of expect those things to happen at night when no one's looking. There's a huge aftermarket for these things. Uh, for the metal within the catalytic converters. The persistent problem of catalytic converter theft is why State Senators Aaron Freeman and Jack Sandlin worked with sheriffs to write a new law. As of July 1st, catalytic converter theft, as well as the sale and purchase of stolen converters, is a level six felony. That means tougher penalties for these two if they're caught. From six months to two and a half years and all the way up to a $10,000 fine. So Jessica hopes they are caught so someone else doesn't have to go through what she is. There's other ways that you can make money and not steal from people who work for the things they have. If you recognize the guys in that video, you can call Greenwood Police. In the meantime, Campbell's Highland Grill will be setting up a donation jar in the restaurant, which they will match to help Jessica out. Reporting in Greenwood, Zach Myers, Fox 59 News.